Hi guys, so I have a random video for you. You're probably going to think, not my cup of tea maybe, I don't know. If you read my blog then you'll know that I'm trying to kind of go in different directions with like my blog and videoing. So this is kind of the start of that process happening. Hope you like the background as well. Um, you guys are probably the first to see it because my husband's not even seen it yet because he's been away. <laughs> so I hope he likes it, but anyway, rambling. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and go down some different routes of like, you know, a bit of fitness, maybe try a bit of fashion, maybe attempt vlogging. <sighs> but yeah, I want to try and just go down some new routes and yeah, just see how it goes. But this video is basically um, a fitness, well not fitness, it's a food fitness video type. Thing. You can tell from the title when I finally think of a name for it. But yeah, um, these are kind of things um, that I like to eat. If I feel like I need a treat or, I don't know, I'm craving something and it's kind of like a treat but not really a treat because it's a healthy treat, if that makes any sense at all. But yeah, I'm going to get started because then you're just going to switch off and think she's rambling. Total nonsense. But yeah, here I go. So basically, um, long story short, I was fat once upon a time, a couple of years ago, I was quite bulky and fat basically, so I took the um, little route and made myself slimmer, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm getting there slowly, but yeah, I was fat once upon a time, and my whole eating kind of brain has changed, I do like to eat like the occasional Chinese when I feel like I need a little something naughty, as we all do. But I know when I was younger, I would, I remember one, once upon a time, I had about five takeaways in one week. Terrible, I know, don't judge me. That was the old me, this is now me. But yeah, once upon a time, I did eat crap like that. So I got fat and I changed my life. And these are kind of things I'd like to eat when I just feel like I need something. So yeah. First thing first, I found these at the BeFit event, I don't know if you, just google it, yeah I'll link a link so you can see, but I found these on a stand and I also found them in a recent farm shop where they sell food and things like that, things like that. and these are the Easy Bean Chickpea Crisp Breads and this is the flavour Seeds and Black Pepper, oh my god, they are so good. I'm basically on that kind of brain thing where I tend to try and eat things where I know what's in there, I know all the ingredients and I can name them basically and I can pronounce them. I don't try and eat things that are just things I just don't know what they are because obviously you, you're putting something weird in your body so, but yeah, this is basically totally just yeah, really really good. Basically, um, these have in them chickpea flour, buttermilk, rice flour, salt, salted butter, sour, um, sour, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seed, golden linseed, nigella seeds, baking powder, water, sea salt and black pepper. That's it. You can name everything in there. I know it's got baking powder but you need something. But yeah, um, they look like that. I have tweeted or Instagrammed a picture of me eating these with avocado on them. So, so good. Absolutely Moorish. You just want to eat the whole packet. You get six slices in there, but they are quite decent thickness. I'm not going to get them out. If I get them out, I'll show you. But I'm not taking them out of plastic for you. But that's what they look like. They're quite a good size, and you get. No, you get five. I lied. Not six. You get five slices, and they just are so freaking yummy and I just love them. I also like the mung bean one but yeah um, you can get them at different health food stores and check out farm shops as well. They're about three pounds for a packet and they're just totally yummy and they are, I think they're vegan as well. Am I right by saying that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they are. I don't know. I'll put I'll put information and stuff below so you can see what I'm rambling about. But I'm going to move on. The next thing I like to nibble on when I'm feeling a little bit yummy, I want something in my tummy, um, it's coconut slices. Um, these are like a bit past it now, but yes, coconut. 
People sometimes think that coconut and like things like avocado are bad for you because they're high in fats, but they're good fats and your body knows what to do with them. That's what people don't realise. It's just they think, ooh, I'm going to get fat if I eat an avocado or two. It's like, but your body knows how to process that fat. But if you're going to eat a Big Mac, your body doesn't know how to process that and it might store it as fat. Whereas things like natural fats like avocado and coconut kind of know what to do with it so that's just a little lesson for you but I do like to just munch on these occasionally I like coconut water as well that's something I didn't like at first but I'm getting into the flavor of it but yeah I actually really just like nibbling on these in between meals and things like that or after a workout I just feel like I need to put something in my mouth basically as dirty as that sounds but yeah I really like coconut pieces that's really nice something i like to eat which is not really healthy but it's the better version of what you could have dark chocolate um this one is just a cheap 30p bar from a brand that's you know a tesco's or a morrison's i won't say what it is but you can probably tell but yeah dark chocolate i hated dark chocolate once upon a time it was just this ugh, hated it i just ugh. but now i could eat i pr probably eat the whole bar if i wasn't controlling myself but obviously i do control myself but yeah chocolate dark chocolate that is i freaking love it and i just I, naughty as it sounds if i'm having a stressful day when i come home i'll like take a strip of the chocolate and then have it with a glass of wine or something like that just to chill out and relax and de-stress and I just the dark chocolate is just so like mm. but dark chocolate's got antioxidants in it and it's not as bad for you as milk chocolate or white chocolate or a Yorkie or a Mars bar it's just it's better for you the thing is just to make some better choices and dark chocolate is something that I just love nowadays. I really do like it. Something that is not the best thing is just something if I feel like I want it, it's kind of naughty, but not naughty. It is these rice cracker um, breads or cake fins as they're called. These are the organic Belgian chocolate, milk chocolate, should I say, rice cake fins. They're basically, they look like that, the packet's still sealed, but um, it's a brand called Calo, shall I say that is? I might be pronouncing it wrong, I don't know. They also do dark chocolate ones. I still had these in my cupboard, so I would buy the dark chocolate ones, but I've got to eat these first. But yeah, these are 56 calories per slice, and you don't get much sugar in there at all. It's three grams of sugar, 2.6 of fat, and it's just like little thin rice crispy cake type things with a little sliver of chocolate on them. And I just sometimes feel it gives me something naughty without being naughty. And just, in it's just the mind thing. If you think like you're being naughty, then it's gone kind of thing. It's like over and done with and you've had your little treat. But yeah, these have organic milk chocolate and um, whole grain brown rice. So... They are not particularly good, but they are good, if that even makes sense. I don't know. Moving on. Next thing I like to eat, not a lot of, but because of the high salt, I like to eat, I'm going to take this off so you can see, excuse the rustling. I like to eat lightly salted popcorn, I have any brand really, but it has to be lightly salted. I don't like anything that is caked in salt. Mmm, so good. But yeah, um, before I could have demolished the whole pack of this. But nowadays I'll just take a small handful and I will eat that only. It's really strange how when you kind of want to be healthy, your brain starts to think differently and you just see it all differently. But yeah, um, this is just proper corn and yeah, really, really nice. Light per packet. How many grams? This is 20 grams and in here is... 88 calories so you're not even got 100 calories there and it's basically quite natural because you know it's just corn hand popped corn rapeseed oil and sea salt that's all it has in there and you can name all those items in there it's not like got some weird chemical thing in there so yeah 
I'm just going to nibble one. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, I like popcorn. Anyway, swallowing. The next two things are by the same brand, so I'm just going to fray them in together. It is naked stuff. Not naked as in no clothes, but naked food bars and little bites. I saw these at the Beef Fit. I've always been in the mindset that sort of food bars like this are bad for you. I've always been taught that by different um, weight loss people, that these type of things are bad for you and they're full of sugar. Yes, they can be full of sugar, but it's natural sugar. It's not processed sugar. There's a difference. If you're eating a Mars bar that's got processed sugar in it, these have natural sugars because all that's in here, all the ingredients are, and I will show you to prove it, is cashew nuts. This is the cashew cookie bar from Naked. The only ingredients in here are cashews, 51%, and dates, 49%. That is it. I don't, it just, and it tastes really good as well. I might eat this on camera just to show you and because I'm a bit hungry. But yeah, that is it. And it even says that is it on there. I'll show you just so you can see. But yeah, these are really delicious. They're gluten-free, dairy-free, wheat-free, and they are really delicious. I love the gingerbread one. They had them all out at the B-Fit counter um little bee fit um sand and you could like test each one and i was just like oh these are so good so i'm probably going to order them in bulk or something like that they are really yummy and yeah scrumptious and these ones as well these are little bites these I, i'm gonna open these because i'm gonna bite into one and show you these the ingredients in here are just dates cashew nuts raisins and raspberries and it also has rice flour and a hint of natural berry flavouring. So natural again, you know, nothing really bad for you. These is kind of a mind thing again because they're basically fruit. But when you look at them, they kind of look like truffles. And it just, it's just, yeah, your brain. I'm just going to bite one. Your brain just thinks it's a chocolate. And you just think, oh, I'm having a treat. But you're not. I'm sorry. I'm eating on camera. Really bad. Anyway. Yeah. Um, I did nearly demolish the whole pack of these. Excuse me. Which is kind of bad because things like dates kind of like make you want to poop a little bit more. Like regularly because it's like cleansing and fibre and whatnot. But yeah. I really like naked products, just so you know. But yeah, really, really good. And I probably will eat the rest of this pack today, even though I shouldn't. But anyway, that's it. That's kind of the things I like to eat when I want a treat or something like that. Healthy treats, not too bad for you. I hope you liked this video. I know it's a little bit different for this channel. Let me know your thoughts if you want anything else or you don't want to see it. Let me know. But yeah, I hope you're having a lovely day. It's sunny finally in the UK. So yeah, have a lovely day and I will see you guys later in my next video.